Hello everyone, and welcome to Nick's Vanilla Server. We went with vanilla this time. I will be doing another server tour today. As you can see, vanilla Minecraft. Minecraft 1.14.4. Oh man, we had a lot of people play on this server, probably more than we've ever had. Probably due to like uh, accessibility, like a bunch, of, like pretty much anyone can run mine, like default Minecraft on their own, right? So let's take a look. We had the MCMMO plugin. We had a few other plugins that like the multi world and uh, core protect, which kept us from seeing any griefers, you know. Uh, MCMMO, everyone loved it. It was really fun. So let's look at MC Top, and you will see. At number one is the server owner. He probably cheated. Let's be honest, guys. And then uh, below him we have a uh, Brent, Ahmed Obunga 69, then Katie, then Colin, then John Henry, Stephen, Tim, Berlin, me, and then Logger. And then we'll continue. We'll see uh, just how many people played on this server. So yeah, we're still going. We're still going. And boom, we had 49 unique people on the server. And only like one griefer and one kind of griefer. This guy right here, if you are Madge underscore Moose, you are a griefer. You got the big ban hammer. That's right, you got banned. Anyway, Brandon unfortunately could not connect to the server. Very sad. Who else? Yeah, that's about it. All right. So, I think most of the important things are out of the way. Let's get right into it. So uh, I figured we'll start with the PvP world. Now we had multiple worlds. Uh, this was like the co-op world, you know, no PvP allowed unless, you know, everyone was like on the same page. This is the PvP world and Steven, only Steven Parlow was feeling crazy enough to go build in here. All right, now I need to remember where his base is. I was just here, it shouldn't be that hard. Okay, so his X, let's, his, his X is negative, and his Y is, no, his Z is big positive. So his X is small negative, and his Y is big positive. Okay. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. <clears throat> All right, the only other thing in this is uh, John Henry's PvP world. So this is Steven's place. He spent a lot of his time working on skills, as you could probably tell by MC Top. He has a lot of chickens in here, llamas, you know, he, he was just a, an animal guy. What can I say? He's got his farm with his compost bins, he's got his chests. And then this is where he was going to build his house, over here. More llamas. He never got around to building it, kind of quit, you know, like most people do. Let's be honest, most people end up quitting. Didn't really look at his shaft. I don't think there's much down here. We'll take a quick look. Oh, what? Hold up. I'm gonna break that. What? What? What is this? It, this is weird. Oh, it's like a mob. Whoa! He built a whole mob farm. Well, I am glad I investigated. He didn't finish it. It looks like, but like, it, it's still pretty impressive. Okay. Well. Surprises around every corner. There's like actually quite a few things. I probably didn't see. What is it? This is naturally spawning. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's naturally spawning. Okay Let's head back over and the other thing John Henry built a PvP arena for people that wanted to fight against one another uh, I thought that was pretty cool. So let's go look at that I think it's on the other side of the portal over yonder <clears throat> Guys, I gotta be honest, I, I, I played lo-fi hip-hop music, the other server tour, and uh, I, I did not anticipate the copy strike claims. The copyright claims, you know, they, they kind of killed me. It, it was kind of sad. I, I didn't even realize, like, dang, this music, you know, someone it's someone's intellectual property. So we're back to just Minecraft music, and hopefully... They don't claim my videos. Thanks. 
Okay, so this is John Henry's PvP arena. He built this in creative, because he's a cheater. He, he built a few things in creative, so let's just assume that he built most things in creative. And like, some stuff he didn't build in creative. Alright, because I don't remember which. This is for sure he built in creative though, but I mean, it, it is still pretty neat. Alright, let's head back on over to the portal. We'll go back to the world, and then we'll start with the other uh, 48 people on the server. Here we go. Well, since it's literally right in front of spawn, let's talk about the big fiery skull. Barry. Adam built this, this young, uh, handsome skull. Very hollow, you know, his, his brain isn't there, he's probably not very smart. This is Barry. Melons, probably was like the teeth or something. And then backwards it says... I can't read that. Anyway, this is Berlin's Redstone game. Uh, I'm gonna quickly try and solve it, but the idea is... You have to turn all of the lamps on while keeping the middle one off. So... I believe, I think I do like, like this, and like this, and like this, and like this, yeah, yeah I, I, I already forgot, I did it, okay though, I, I did it, high score holder, 8 moves, it only took puppet, famine, aka logger, it only took him 8 moves, alright, so, here's the randomized button as well, we added this later on, all the redstone geniuses, actually randomizes it. I wonder what the odds are of it getting completely random or if it's even possible. And if you want to see the inner workings of this in here, I will do a quick fly around. You can see. I don't know the, the ins and outs of it, but um, I'm sure you could probably figure it out. Right, right, redstone people, if I just fly around like this, you'll be able to figure everything out. It's probably not how it works. This is the randomize button. I'm pretty sure so like that all of this stuff down here is for randomizing it. I believe Okay So that is Berlin's redstone game On top of it, he has a few different things nice little granite fountain nice little hut over here with his that's actually Katie's banner I lied now I'm starting to doubt if you know, who built what. Katie, can you type in chat and say if you built this or not? Let's see here. You built that building. Wow, we live in a society. And the fountain? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't realize I was discrediting you. You know, it's just how it goes. Over here we have a, a sign for loggers thing. Whole books, I believe. Yep, yep, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. All right, all right, that's enough. I got it from here. Calm down. I got it. But thank you, thank you for the assistance. All right, all right. Here, let's head over here to Katie's bed store. Katie has a lot of sheep, as you can see. We'll get to that in a second. So, this is Katie's uh, little sheep pen. Or, not sheep pen, that's Katie's sheep pen. This is Katie's bed store. Where, you know, she had all the beds, you know, as you can see, uh, she was just driven out of business. Someone bought out all of her beds and, uh, she has some wood in here, but like, dang, that is rough market out there. You know, probably had to liquidate all of her assets, all the fun stuff. Here's the sheep color coordinated as always. She has done this multiple times, as you remember, probably from the first server tour. Katie Sheep. Over here, since we're here, we might as well take a quick look at it. This is John Lucid's. You know, there's like four Johns, so I gotta make sure you know which one. John Lucid's uh, pumpkin, automated pumpkin farm thing that he was making. I don't know if he ever finished it. Well, it, well the pumpkins are farming, so that's the good news. Um, Cole is sorry. Cole is sorry because uh, Cole actually blew this up a really long time ago. It's very sad. Anyway, moving on, we're gonna head back over here. Past all of this funk junk. 
and head on over back to the spawn area to Bryce and Brent's base. Now as you may remember from the MC Top, Akhmet Obunga 69 was number 2 overall in MC Top. 2,555 points I believe. Like he had a lot of time in the server. Like a ton of time. Here's their little house. They live pretty, you know, subtly. I believe this is their banner. They spent a lot of their time underground. Not a whole lot of time building because you know you gotta farm those levels. Make sure you're on top. This is their nether portal building and then they built a little fence. They also had iron golems. Um, I think they got rid of them or they died though. And some wolves as well. Heading on over this way into the bamboo forest. This right here is John Henry's house. You can see he's got a pretty dope like phoenix looking banner. He's got his upside down skeletal horse Grum. Don't know why it's upside down. I've never seen that before. Huh. And I, I I'm curious. Will I go? Okay. That is Grum, ladies and gentlemen. This is his wheat farm. Other farms. You got a fox in there, you know. Probably stealing things. <coughs> <coughs> Across the bridge we have his main house. Nice little shack. I mean, look at this thing. Look at this. This is just a work of art, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, Prometheus. John Henry. He's storage. That's a bubble vader. I kind of want to take that in just a second. Ew, I did not mean to type that. One of the coolest things I think is his little aquarium here. He's got a turtle in it. He's got fish. He's got a, like a wide variety of things. And that's really cool. And then he's got a giant pillar of smoke. I really want to see where his bubble vader goes. Oh, this is like a, only one bubble vader. I wonder if he has like multiple. Okay. Wow. Here we have his little painting here. Is there like a secret door? I don't think there is. He's got his little villager down here with a dragon egg. This is the way up. Nice. John Henry. Uh, this was his house. Uh, he, plus, he has a lighthouse over here that actually spins around. Like, it actually does like a little light thing. You know? If you want to see the inside real quick, it's also just another bubble vader. If you go up. And you'll see I'm getting a buff in the upper right. We'll check it out. John Henry actually made a conduit. Here's his... Uh, one of his statues that he made. Right in front of that naturally spawning uh, wrecked boat over there. I thought those wrecked boats were probably the coolest things. Venus de Milo. Ladies and gentlemen, Venus de Milo. Over here, we have Maya's little fox pen. I think it looks like all of the foxes have escaped and are now living behind the statue by the shipwreck. But it, oh, there's two in here. Okay. Oh, they're, they're just hiding from me. They're sleeping. Look, they're so cute. That guy has a little berry. I'm going to throw some things. Maybe we'll pick them up later. Okay. That was Maya's. Heading on over, you'll see in the water over here, we have the conduit. I've never seen, I never saw one of these, the aquatic update. I think this is actually one of the cooler things that they've added, cause like the, the whole underwater thing, like the swimming animations, I actually really enjoyed it a lot. So let's swim on over to this hut looking house underwater thing over here ladies and gentlemen this is mayonnaise house she didn't finish it but you know like as we all know no one ever actually finishes you're never really done in minecraft there's always more you can do it's a sandbox game after all and it's a building sandbox game on top of that. Here's like the actual main entrance, I'm pretty sure. That's the entrance you're supposed to use. Not the one that's kind of has a giant pink coral in front of it. 
She's got little two side rooms over here that I'm assuming she would have drained the water out eventually. Not entirely certain, but I feel like she would have. That's Maya's little underwater house. So let's see. We've done Maya. We've done John Henry's arena. We've done John Henry in general. We've done Bryce and Brent. We've done part of Katie's. And we've done Steven. Let's head on over back to the spawn past John Henry's bamboo. By the way, to get all this bamboo, he just had so much of it, and he just planted a ton, like right afterwards. Let's head over to the marketplace. Now, I had this idea that I think there should be a place where everyone can go and they can, you know, write down everything that they want to buy and sell. And that's where the marketplace idea came from. So I have this giant kind of red and white uh, wool roof made by Nick. And this little ugly looking big structure. And then I made all these market stall areas where people could build like a mini version of their base. Now not everyone ended up building a mini version of their base. But um, that was the original idea. And we had you know, a little bit less participation than I would have liked. And I tried to incentivize it like I'll give you a reward, but you know, some people, they just weren't down with the idea. And that's fine. So here's like our booth, for example. This is a boat I bought from Adam. This is Sean's. We'll look at that one last, actually. Because that one's really cool. This is... Ooh, let's look. This is Bryce's. This is... Kyle, Mr. McMuffin Kyle's stall. That's a tree that Sean placed. This is Collins. Someone put a bow there on the pathway. I'm kind of upset about that, not gonna lie. A little salty. Here is Berlin's. No dragon beast or showers. Cocoa beans sold here. Dragon. Dragon had a monopoly on cocoa beans. And let me tell ya, he burned down jungles, basically did terrorism to make sure that we could not, could not get cocoa beans so he could run a monopoly. Katie bought some, fell for his scheme, but we knew that if we kept exploring, we would find him eventually. And eventually... We did, and by we, I mean like Katie and a few other people. Katie, Berlin, Colin. I actually got a parrot, thanks to Colin. Thank you, Colin. This is Stevens. This was Brent's over here with all those banners. Surprisingly, did not put their banners on either Bryce or Brent's, which is interesting. Yes, yes, yes. This was the example stall I made, which is why it looks really scuffed. MC underscore player 123XX. You know, just a good little thing. 7x7 seven seven market stalls. This right here. Cock and ball torture. Five diamonds per use. Wow, someone nice. They, they're they actually named nice. That is interesting. I wonder who paid for that. Who's, who's is this? I don't even know who this is. This is... Oh, it's Ben's. Okay. What the? I'm surprised I haven't seen that. That's actually crazy. Here's Ben's another one of Ben's stalls. Ben's MF stall. Here is loggers. Welcome to Whole Price Books. Refer to the lectern. You know he's got his, his lectern in here. So he had a uh, a bunch of like enchanted books. I'm assuming that he was trying to sell. A bunch of people want of enchanted books because if you get the right ones, it's like really good. Like looting three mending, three mending books. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he, he had he had a lot of good stuff. Here's a little. I don't know who did this, but this is really cool. Let's give him credit real quick. It was Logger, Logger and Katie. It looks like maybe just Logger. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's head on inside. These ones were a little bit like, a, I guess, a safer location. 
I also made uh, boards here, so like a server shortage. So if I saw a bunch of people were missing these, or a bunch of people like wanted those items, this is the opposite. A bunch of people are selling these. <clears throat> here is Adam's pawn shop. He was gonna put stuff in these, obviously. Got a few things in there. Here's Katie's stall. We'll look at that map in a second because that's actually really cool. Here's Cole's stall. T Kentucky, Ken turkey fried penguin. Haha. Uh -huh. Bunch of old banners that we were trying to make. This is Emily's stall. She never finished. This one actually kind of looks like her base though, which I liked. And last but not least, Sean Stall. You can follow him on Instagram at thewall12. <laughs> Selling a bunch of stuff. So, um, Sean, Sean had a pretty nice stall. You could uh, go in here, do a bunch of little things and stuff. He had like a, you know, one of his big things he was trying to sell was redstone. I don't know if anyone actually bought any from him though. It kind of sucked. He had a little thing up here as well. But Sean actually used his stall to make this. This lift stings a little bit. Make sure you have five hearts. Into the party room. Coming soon. Well, now it's not coming soon because the server's actually gonna <laughs> off itself, but you know. Music toggle. All right, are you guys ready for this? This is... There was a snowman on a cart here, but clearly something happened there. Very sad. Here's the, the other partier. You know, his eyes are kind of red. He's probably done a lot of drugs. He's definitely been doing drugs. This is a drug stand if I've ever seen one. Yeah, I wonder what happened to the snowman. They probably just despawned or died or, you know, committed suicide. Back to the other Minecraft music. All right, Sean's. Oh, that's right, you can't actually get out that way. But that's awkward, uh, we're, we're just gonna cheat. Okay. So, let's go back and look at that map. So I had this idea to make a map. And originally it was just gonna be this. Tiny little map, uh, four corners. And then I found out that you could put people's bases on it. And that's where all the flags come from. Cause after that, I wanted to make sure everyone's flag, everyone's name could get on there. I didn't end up putting everyone on there cause you know, it, we never finished anything. Surprisingly, this is probably the server I felt most accomplished. Like I actually did things that I set out to do, like this map, with a few help. I did not expect this map to get so big. Holy crap. <laughs> Katie decided to add on uh, a bunch of other things to it. Like all of this stuff over here, I never would have gotten. Um... Yeah, you can see you are a miner. We'll talk about the smiley face and that later. Adam's base, Cole's base. Yeah, we got everyone here. <clears throat> oh, I should have gone. See, see, now I'm looking at this and I'm questioning the order I've done it in. Like, oh, Maya's base is right next to Kyle's. I could have just gone to Kyle's base. Oh man, rough. All right, we'll 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 backtrack a little bit. It's fine. So yeah, that is that. Let's go look at Ben's house before I forget about it. It's kind of nestled away. Nestled away being like right next to my marketplace. Uh, so when I built the marketplace, I uh, didn't realize I was encroaching on the real estate of another individual. Um, yeah, I I started like over there and then I wanted to make these, these you know, stalls for people, you know. By the way, no one built on the other side. I don't know if I said that already. You know, everyone wanted to be next to everyone, because why not? So this is Ben's tower. You can see it doesn't look very good next to that tower, which we'll go to in a second. This is just like one block and it's like a ladder. Well, you know, it's very Ben, and I can appreciate that. It's got a little railroad down there that leads to the big tower. Or the less, the, the wider tower, we'll call it that. And another railroad going down there. Katie, can you tell me if the railroad down here is worth going through? This one. Well, she's telling me that. Um, 
Let's look and see. This is also Ben's. Oh, did I even go in that part? I don't think I did. I want to make sure I, I get everything. By the way, if you guys like Ben... Okay, got you. No, there's one that goes down, though. Can you check that one out for me and tell me it's worth it? I think it just leads down the line shaft, but I'm not sure. By the way, if you guys want to follow Ben, you can go ahead and follow him. Uh, subscribe to his YouTube, Almond Boy. I'll leave a link to that in the description. He's an aspiring YouTuber, you know, really funny videos. Bro, he's got this hype video, it's all coming together. Ooh, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good, guys. Make sure you go follow Almond Boy. Here is his shower and toilet, you know. And uh, over here, I think, is just a, a really dark room that is kind of... Oh, no, this is storage room. Wow. That's nice. There's a fire hallway part, though. Okay, I don't even care. But you know what, guys? If you want to see this, you're just going to ha have to ask Almond Boy to make a video. I we'll go check it out, actually. I don't want to miss it. We're getting everything. We might as well get everything. Caves. These caves are so explored. Like, I... It's been a while since I've been on a server that has this volume of people, especially so close to spawn, that um, it makes it, like, uh... Like, the, the starting area is just completely devoid of, like, everything. Wait, that's it? Everything else is just mineshaft? Okay. Sweet. <clears throat> Alright. Let's head over to Gabby's base. Gabby is a friend of Ben's, I believe. She has a lot of monsters, you know. Everyone's been partying out here. Even the dogs. Gabby's home, smiley face. It used to be called Gabby's ugly home, but luckily it looks like she changed it. She was not... Uh... Yeah, I could find words. Oh man, I'm tired. Anyway, Gabby's home. Gabby's home got griefed a little bit, but she really came back. She also made her banner like a lot better, which is really cool. Like it, that banner actually looks sick. Let's check out her basement. Oh wow, this is actually, she's been doing work. This was like, HUD. Huzzah! This is something else. Yo, shout out to Gabby to hell <laughs> work in progress. Okay, okay. This is pretty this is pretty nice. She's got a is, is this what I think it is? Is this is this one of them special arrows? I actually did I just destroy that? I am so sad. Oh my gosh. There's that. I kind of want to see over there. I think that might be part of Cole's bed. Uh, we're going to go check it out. Just real quick. I just destroyed her base. I am a griefer. Please ban me. Yeah, I think this is just like mineshaft stuff. And yeah, okay. Had to make sure. There is so much stuff, guys. I am definitely going to miss something, and I apologize for it. Katie is trying to help me out here, but... You know, we're, we're human. I'm going to grief that. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Over here, this is uh what Ser one of the things Sergio made. He said it. He he said it was a landmark. I I don't necessarily know what that means. Like it, it it's just this. I, there's nothing like under it. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Sergio's little thing. That's not his actual base. So. This lovely area over here has been desecrated. It used to be a lovely forest full of trees, life. I made our, me and Nick, we based together this time. Nick is number one, by the way. This is his face. We based together, we found this cave. This is our little starting cave. And we had, I made this tree. This is like our, our nature part of our house. And I made it. And this is our little base. And then it was it was ruined, because now all the trees are gone. Thanks to those dang woodcutters. Like Katie and Nick. This is where I put my wolves. Um yeah. This is where I started. Here is our little sheep farm and chicken farm. We also had cows here, but people were abusing them. So we got rid of them. I was gonna put horses here. Never happened. Lost my horses. We don't talk about it. And then, 
probably one of the first things I did like a long time ago and the only one of the only like really noticeable things I did was built this house based on a YouTube tutorial from a Japanese man uh, he made a building tutorial I will give him credit for this because this is actually amazing the outside if you're not convinced by the compost bin walls the inside is absolutely fantastic here's my cat and my parrot nice got a nice fireplace in here with our banner on it here is the bathroom that you can drown yourself in the bathtub in we live in a society toilet you know got the good stuff mirror uh we'll go to the garage in a second check out our clock our bell these are our kitchen, you know, check out the lights. Oh my gosh, MTV Cribs up in here, baby. <clears throat> Here's our laptop. If you step on the laptop or use the mouse, it breaks. Your laptop doesn't do that, you stupid millennial. Nice little chandelier. Here is the car, the whip that you can get run over by casually in front of the garage yo this is the house anyway after I made the house I was like yo there's not actually a whole lot of space in here because all of the interior decorations like we need a nice functional storage room and that is where I made the hub this took me honestly probably just as long as the house did maybe a little bit less that was the MTV crib. So this is where, you know, got four tunnels leading out of it. This leads back to the wolf cave where I have my wolves. Um, yeah, this is the storage room. We went ham on wood. These are the two be sorted chests that we'd never sorted because I got lazy and weren't wasn't on. But yeah, you can see this is the hub that I made. Smokers and blast furnaces, ender chests. We got all the jazz. These are Nick's wolves. I gotta drink some water. Hold on. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Hopefully I can make it through the end of this video. You can see I have my maps down here and then I moved them to the marketplace. Katie did not add on to my map, obviously, so <clears throat> it just has like only part of URI minor. Chanting table, fun stuff. This goes to the marketplace and actually leads to my stall, which we'll go over here to a second. <clears throat> you can see, you know, it, it's not really a secret entrance, but I, I kind of tried to keep it hidden. So let's go to the biggest, probably the best thing on the server, the skyscraper and Adam's base. Uh, let's go see if they actually finished this tunnel with Adam's base. I don't think it was ever finished. Um, yeah, it, we were working on it. It didn't, it didn't happen though. Um, and actually, before I forget, one of these blocks has our cow farm. I moved the cows down here after they were, you know, getting abused. <clears throat> Kept them hidden for, for a good while. Here we have a skyscraper. I honestly don't even know where to start with this thing. Let's start on the main floor. Um, wow, where do I even begin? I, 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 like I'm still, I'm on the main floor now and I'm still struggling. Um, bells, this was Katie's big project on the server. Pretty much up the sky limit wanted everyone to have their own room here you know here we go hello server tour please go watch you are a minor on YouTube <laughs> like and subscribe I'll leave a link to that video filmed on this very server in fact here's the hot tub I think this is technically a hot tub not entirely certain <clears throat> and I think this is where after they found cocoa beans they started their wait drugs these are just okay okay um we didn't see that um I... all right uh yeah here's katie's first floor skyscraper 
Rental agreement. Read it, don't take it. This was originally made for Emily. You can pause if you really want to read all six pages of this. Basically, you know, you couldn't build, like don't don't mess up the layout of the skyscraper, you know. All the control your animals, all that stuff. Here's the second floor storage. You can see she's got like a little parkour room storage in here, you know. We had some weird thing with like uh, you can just run across. You don't actually need to like jump for some of those chests we were trying to figure out. It was crazy. It was crazy. On to the third floor pool. This is the pool. You swim in it. It's got candles for aesthetic. Here is Katie's suite, her actual room. <clears throat> with some dragon heads and a music disc. We'll just, we'll just put it in the container, you know. Got a nice level black wool TV, you know. I'm much more of a concrete guy myself, but I guess wool is okay. Here we have Emily's jail cell, which we don't have a way to get out of, so we're gonna break the door in a second with a singular puffer fish. Can I get it to puff up? Oh, I definitely got it to puff up. Okay, that's scary. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, the pufferfish. She had more stuff in there. I think it died. Future doggo. Um, I'm pretty sure she never got a dog. I'm gonna be completely real with you guys. I don't think she ever got a dog. And that's just me being honest. We're gonna break the door. Okay. Up here, Ben's suite. He's got a lot of beds, as you can see. Oh, he must have been the one that bought out all of the beds. That must have been him. He's got a nice little minecart that leads to his base. That you may have saw earlier. Ladies and gentlemen, Ben Sweet. That was the 6th floor. 7th floor, Mish got sweet. Mish got, got on the server, chickens, baby. Chickens, chickens, chickens. What do you know? Chickens again. Ladies and gentlemen, Mish got sweet. Now, probably, in my opinion, and you know what, I'm a server tour guy, so my opinion's kind of important. Probably the best sweet, Corbin's sweet, you know. This guy, he just does what is, what can I say? Look at this interior decoration. Look at this, just, just amazing. Just amazing. Look at this fire. Oh my goodness. Look at, here's Gary. I believe I called him Gary. Great guy. Like, look at him. He just sits in here all day, tends to my vacation suite. You know, he sometimes sits on the bed. Ladies and gentlemen, Gary. Eighth floor. All right. On to the ninth floor. Ninth. Nick's potion shop. Oh, clouds are on? Yikes. Let me turn those off real quick. Those are distracting and just unnecessary. Water breathing. Speed like mist. My man, my man Nick, all right, look at this, MC Top Alchemy. There, there was no beating him, no, no contest, no competition. This man, he made all the potions. He made all the good potions. He didn't make any lingering potions, I don't think. I, maybe someone did. I, I mean, like, look at this. It's just amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick Ikoff. Here we have John Lucid Suite. You have to crawl under to get in, which I think is pretty cool. There's not much in here, but the fact that you have to crawl in, I think was cool enough. Unique entrance. 11th floor, the, the night, the nightclub. I, I was trying to say like nickel club or something ridiculous. This is the nightclub, you know, had a few safety problems. Sometimes mobs can spawn, but you know, we figured it out. The nightclub with, you know, this, uh, this uh, rope climbing thing, you climb the rope. Good fun for the whole family. <clears throat> uh, 12th floor, Penguin Palace, built by Cole himself, all right? I believe the nightclub was built by Adam, by the way. Got little fish, he's actually out of the water because of the way the glass panes are set up. Kinda sad. Uh, Cole, please, next time, set up the water so the fish won't be out of the water. Thank you. As you can see, uh, weed, seaweed. Cole is a drug lord. 
He's actually a member of the Mafia, in case you didn't know. Ladies and gentlemen, the Penguin Palace, built by Cole... Okay. 13th floor. Berlin's floor. Water dripping from the ceiling. Aesthetic. Adds to the color. Look. The banner in the blue. The blue in the banner. Water from the ceiling. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Tell, tell me this is not the best restaurant you've ever seen. Would you eat here? Because I would eat here. You, you get moist just thinking about it. Or just sitting down. Like, just look at it. Look at this. Amazing. Amazing. No one checks these. That's not true. I check those signs. They say no one checks them. False. Here we have the 14th floor. Sergio's floor. You are dripping water down onto my customers. This is so sad. Can we get 10 likes? Look at this. What amazing, amazing uh lazy river. This is what this is what this is. It's a lazy river, I'm pretty sure. Look at this. Tell me this isn't a lazy river. Lazy River if I've ever seen one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, what have I done? Oh my god. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. Oh, oh no. Wait. Let's get out of here. Okay. Um, That was the 14th floor everybody. 15th floor. Let's go. Minivan suite. Boom. Look at all of this. Minivan suite. Ladies and gentlemen. He said don't even include my little area. Well, we're going to look at his area. Don't worry. We're going to look at it. This is his thing. 16th floor of the library. Katie, you know, turns out, even with everyone, not everyone, even with most people on the server getting a floor, does he have a, does a smiley face? I, I didn't know they had smiley face. I thought they just had, like, pumpkins or something. Huh. Okay. The library. K Katie realized she needed to actually add more floors. Enchanting table room, you know, because bookshelves and enchanting table make sense. Book checkout on return. You know, we got a few books in here. Uh, I was hoping there would be some liter some good literature in there. Ladies and gentlemen, I thought there would be something back there and it was just a torch. That's kind of kind of upsetting, Katie. You could have done more. What the heck? Alright. 17th floor of another portal. With end stuff. That doesn't make any sense. Come on. Get with the theme, Katie. Gosh. Oh, Katie, I'm, I'm disappointed twice in a row. Maya's turtle farm. Let's go look. There is exactly zero turtles in Maya's turtle farm. Maya, you're a failure. There is a chicken though. I, I mean, maybe chicken and the fish will breed and make like turtles. I think I took anthropology. Pretty sure that's how it works. Welcome to the bank. Withdrawals, deposits, customer support. Our interest rates are one gold nugget per week. I think I'm at like five golden nuggets or something crazy, dude. Eight, eight, six. Oh my gosh. I'm at, it's been like a, a month and a few days. As you can see, everyone opened their account on the same day, you know, like, cause like that was the day. That was the day. All right. Here's my bank account. As you can see, I got Dragon's breath in there. Don't tell Tim that I bottled up his breath. It's like Belle Delphine bath water. I'm literally going to go sell it. Um, This, this really pushes my buttons that he only has like one spruce button in there, but I guess it's okay. Dead brain coral. This is just, these bank accounts are actually kind of depressing. Oh gosh. Here's, here's the vault. Key required for entry. Um, or you can just grab it from this chest here. Next level strategies, ladies and gentlemen. The vault. Wait, that was the... There's a pressure bike. I, I didn't need to do that. Anyway. This, is it? This, okay. May, oh, it's a May. Oh, I haven't done this yet. Let's do it. How long will Corbin spend on the maze? Well, I am actually a genius. So this won't take me long at all. I just went. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. No wrong turns. That wasn't a wrong turn. That doesn't count. That doesn't count either. Here we go. Yep. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, here we I got it. I, I got it now. I got it now. Oh, look. Look at that. What? 15 seconds. Uh, no one timed that. No one timed that. Okay. 
I did it in one one try though, guys. It only took me one try. I finished the maze. 21st floor, community lounge. Um, once again, wool, I'm telling you the concrete, black concrete, way better, way better. But you know, it's whatever. I like the decor. This is actually a pretty nice place. <clears throat> Hotel thing. Oh, I see. It's like guest rooms. Check in. Nice, nice. Blue and, blue and white. I dig it. Orange and white. So you either pay for the, the blue room, which is the superior room, or you say this one and you're like, orange, you're glad that we are being cheap. And, uh, yeah. Here is the armory. Wow. This is actually pretty neat. I like this. Ooh, that, is that a light? Ooh. I, I didn't get one of those. Hold on. Fly guy. Oh, I like the name of that. Okay, okay. <laughs> what? You can't just say sad face. What does that mean? You're not gonna use- you're not gonna use it. I'll use it. Okay. Art gallery. Now, I was told that these are references to things on the server. So, it will either be a look back at what we've already seen, or foreshadowing for what's to come. This will build hype for the next like 30 minutes or hour of the video or whatever. My Wheatfield, Artist Berlin. Have I been recording this whole time by the way? Okay, I just gotta make sure, cause sometimes dude, oh man, I did not oh, imagine dude. My Wheatfield, Artist Berlin. I, guys, I hate to spoil it, I'm pretty sure Berlin has a Wheatfield. Tall guy, artist Sean, because Sean's a tall guy. Um, my climb to MC Top. Wow, this is this is actually beautiful. Nick Sama's dojo. Oh my gosh. Welcome to Creeper Cavern, artist Cole. We'll, we'll go there soon. The view from my lighthouse, artist Han Ray. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say it was that good, but Identity Crisis, artist one of the Johns. Oh, we had so many Johns. We had so many Johns. I'm also tall, Artist Mason. Uh, let's go this way. Future Doggo. Never happened, never will. This is so sad. Does this look like Shrek? Artist, Kate. <clears throat> Lighting my house on fire. Artist, Colin. Colin, watching Colin's house burn down. <laughs> that, that, that one actually was really good. Welcome to Trumplandia, artist Nathan, dude. <clears throat> we did it, we did it, folks. Oh, I, I didn't even see this. Me trying to build my ho underwater house, Maya. Building Barry, wow. Th these are these were clever. I am actually very impressed by a lot of these. I cannot wait to to, to get to the rest of the story. Here's the gift shop, official coal maze coal. Mishkash, these are actually, I, I am impressed. I haven't actually seen any of this yet. Cold built an airplane. That is plain awful. Wow. <clears throat> Adam's nightclub drug keychains. I survived the death drop. Official FU diamonds. <laughs> we had a lot of diamonds called FU. Glass bottles from Potion Shop. Check out counter Katie Skyscraper. Oh, it's like a t-shirt. Wow. This is really awesome. I actually really like this. I'm so happy I, I've seen all this stuff. Here's my floor. Dang it. I was just saying how I, I'm pretty sure I finished everything I wanted to do. And look at this. I didn't even finish it. I was going to build a uh, something there. I always kept changing my answer. Here's the skywalk. We'll go outside. So we're almost at the top. As you can see, this is Katie's banner hanging off the side. It's inverted, but that's because you're supposed to look at it from the other way. This is the skywalk. And then, leading up to the nature area. The last floor, I believe there's 28 floors. Is that right? Because this is 27? Yeah. 28 floors, kind of. Not including the basement, by the way. So, let's go to the death drop. And let's survive it. Wait, why is it... Why there? Real quick, I, I won't go inside it because I was really struggling to get inside it, but here's the plane. It's pretty much, you know, a plane. <clears throat> All right, death drop. 
No one is going to read the sign from the outside. I don't know who thought about that. But here we go. There you have it, folks. KD Skyscraper. Alright, that was probably like most of the server tour in that segment. So, basement. Oh my gosh. I gotta go look at the basement. We're gonna go look over here. I am not looking at the basement first. Don't tell me what to do. Here we have a dog bone. This is like the dog house, the dog park. Here we have a little hangout area. Just saying, used to be a forest here, used to be beautiful. Oh, I forgot about my farm. We'll look at that in a second. Here's Shrek, built by, I forgot for a second, Katie. <laughs> used to be a mountain, it used, it actually did used to be a mountain, and fun fact, me and Katie and Nick did not even realize how close we were because of the mountain between us. I'm pretty sure that's like a movie or something. The space between us, that's what it is. Here's my farm, plus kelp. Pretty much just generic farm. Crops in it. Nothing too important. Nick is number one, though. Animal farm. More animal farms. She's a horse. Cows. Obviously, she's already got sheep. No more farms up here. Katie built her own kind of farm because mine wasn't good enough for her, I guess. Uh, let me see if I can find that chicken. Katie, do you have eyes on the chicken? There was a chicken. That escaped. There was a uh, Chuck and Dale or Chicken Dale. Um, I lost Chick investigating. He's at the fireplace. Nice. She. Oh, because she's a chick. That makes so much sense. Oh, wow. Do the dogs have names too? Yeah, let's go look at them. Okay. Yep. Yeah, mm hmm. Not your dogs? Well, this is so sad. Imagine having a dog and like you just have so many you don't even name them. Horses do and llama. Okay. Oh, what's here? Wall design inspired by coal. Wow. We live in a society, everyone. Franklin. Uh, frankly, that name sucks. Uh, a live gym. I'm assuming there must have been another gym that was dead. Maybe he should have hit the gym more. Uh, we got Katie is the best woodcutter. Um, is that true? Oh wow, she is. <laughs> Unless. Uh, I'm actually going to take the time to do this. Uh, uh-huh. Mm-mm. Unless, dang it, it's not updated yet. I'm big. Okay, we'll look at it in a second. All right. Here we have Francine the horse. We have Ouch. Uh. And uh, Franklin, I already, okay, yeah, I, I, that's all of them. I got them all. Ouch. I wonder why this one's called Ouch. I don't know. Okay. I think we got everything over here. This is really cool. This is actually really awesome. This over here. Whose farm is it? Oh, I already saw that. Okay. Uh, this, this was a new thing they just added, I'm pretty sure. Little fountains going down. Made by KT. Let's head to the basement of the skyscraper since Katie wants me to look at it and it is important. <clears throat> Let's check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, the basement. I, forgot, I thought I skipped the floor for a second. I was honestly going crazy. Uh, this goes out to the sheep, that goes out to the sheep, that goes out of there. This was originally Logger's area. He lived here for a long time, actually, until he finally moved out, got his own place, really went place in the world. So this was a naturally spawning pond that we had kept. Um, yeah. You may swim, no hurting fishes. Okay, good. 
Looks like there's only a few fish left. That's kind of sad. So yeah, if we head down another floor, you can see... Well, actually, it's an aquarium from the bottom entrance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is an aquarium from the bottom entrance. So like, if you go out there and like come in there, or like go through there, that's pretty neat. <clears throat> There's that. Here's another floor to cold in Berlin. That's like a being. Uh, here's the basement. Let's talk again about You Are a Miner. The original hit classic. You know how it goes. That leads to my base, by the way. I don't know if I said that already. I, I mean, I was literally there, but you know. I'm, I'm starting to forget what I've, what I've done and what I haven't done. Oh no. You know, here we have the recording studio for You Are a Miner. Probably one of the best, like, I mean, just, just look at this. Professional setup. I mean, professional. Okay, folks. Professional. Director of Kitty Cats. You are now, now shooting You Are a Miner, Minecraft parody. Look at that, folks. Um, let's go check out the set down here, actually. We're gonna, we're gonna go check out the rest of the set. It's not a whole lot, but like, it's something, okay? This is, that's the noise you make when you go fast. So we go all the way down over here, because they had to build the set in Africa. Here we have Cobble the Throne of Trash and some props. Katie's naturally creative cave. Watch out for mobs. Welcome to the set of You Are a Miner. Diamond straight. You got digging over here, digging over there. For the mining part, scene one filming location because you got it mine straight. If you want to see all of the magic put together, check out You Are a Miner, link in description. <clears throat> all right, Blooper's video coming soon? I hope not. Let's actually just, let's just go back home. All right, so I think we've seen all that. I think we've seen a lot of a lot of cool stuff. Now you're probably wondering what this fancy looking thing over here is. This right here. Why do I have a boat in my inventory the whole video? This is the highway to hell, baby. Built by Dragon Beast Face himself. Okay. Before we do that, let me go to my checklist and start checking things off. Katie and Emily done. Ben done. Uh, Caleb Dragon Justin Dark about to do that. Corvinick, done. Uh, 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 not done, not done, not done, not done, not done. I think this is done. Yeah, done, okay, not done. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. Mm, marketplace, that's done. Gabby, Gabby is also done. Matt, I don't think Matt's done. Oh my gosh, dude, forgot about Matt. Big pole with water, don't think that's done. Uh, Jordan's mineshaft. Oh, let's go to Jordan's mineshaft. Witch's tower. What the? F oh yeah, the witch's tower. Thank you. How did I forget about the one of like the, the biggest thing here? Not the biggest thing, but you know, tower built, roof built by B -B 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 Berlin. Here's the tower, guys. There's actually nothing in it, but it's very aesthetically pleasing. The layout is really nice, actually. Um, this is the tower. You want a minor sign is right here too? Yeah, I'll, we'll look at that too. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna come back to this location. There's a sheep in a fucking boat. Excuse my French. That was like, just like... Whoa. There's a sheep in a boat. We live in a society. Folks, never let anyone tell you otherwise. We live in a society. Okay, Katie's bed store done. Redstone game done. All right, I think we got it. Every I think we got everything. Okay, let's move on. Here's the sign. You are a miner. Smiley face over here as well. Let's go look at Jordan's mine shaft. Uh, Jordan's mine shaft. If I was Jordan's mine shaft, where would I be? Jordan's mine shaft. 6 to 17. K 
Okay, six. Two seventeen. Wait. You guys built in front of Jordan's mine shaft? How? I thought my marketplace with Ben's was bad. This is just. I cannot believe you got. Look at Jordan's mine. You desecrated it. Go in the. No, never mind. Never mind. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So there's that. Let's head over to Trumplandia. Built by Dragon Beast Face and Get Shmuel Tower with a little bit of help from Team Five One Two, aka Justin and Darb, aka Not Darb. <clears throat> so let's ride the highway to hell, baby. Because this is probably one of the coolest things ever. I mean, look at this. You turn a little bit. You're going Mach Five. Why is there another boat? This other boat just messed it up. What the heck, dude? Look at it, it just keeps going. Hold on, gotta go back. Missed my exit. I'm actually just gonna keep going. Oh my, okay, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. Okay, come on, cooperate. The steering is awful on this vehicle, I swear. I, I gotta get it, I gotta get it taken in. Okay, let's go back over here. Reverse over here. We have Cole's place Ladies and gentlemen Cole's place. We got a purple sheep. Can't believe you survived. You're lucky We our sheep used to all be dyed purple and then a bunch of them got out and I, I tried to kill most of them because I was trying to corner the wool market, but clearly This guy lived Lived another day Won't happen next time buddy this is Cole Swamp Hut, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at this absolute masterpiece. Look at that, you come in and the water, it doesn't even look like water. Look at this, look at this. Boom, here we have the door. Got his chest, one of his chests. Look at this, just grand, grand doice. I don't know how to say that word. Got a parrot? What up? Parrot? How you doing, man? Welcome to Creeper Cavern. This is what this is called because there was always a ton of creepers in here. I mean, look at look at how beautiful he made this look. This almost reminds me of my, uh, my underground thing I made last thing. Here's this chicken thing that is probably... It's not even full. Like, what the heck? I feel like this should be full. But maybe you turned it off or it's not working or something. But yeah, this is Cole's underground thing. It's actually really awesome. Look, I mean, I mean, look at this. You just, you just don't see this, this kind of a. I thought, I really thought you'd get over over there. You don't see this kind of architecture anymore these days. Look at his storage room. He's literally never gonna run out of room ever. Crazy. <clears throat> I mean, look at this. This thing is actually amazing. Like, I, I haven't been down here in a while, so this is actually like a genuine reaction to, uh, especially like the bamboo and like the extra grass and stuff. I really, really like it a lot, actually. Okay. This is Creeper Cavern, folks. Uh, I'm definitely missing something in here. I apologize, Cole. It's just, it's massive. I, 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 I feel like I'm missing something in here. Um, We'll work on uh, down by storage. Okay. There's super smelter. Oh, okay. It's down by the storage. Oh, this is a super smelter. Welcome to the column. Interesting. So this thing, basically, is from what I understand, just smelts down things. Oh, I just messed it up, I feel like. Oh my gosh. That was scary. Okay. 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 Oh, yeah. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. That's what they say. It has auto bamboo farm for fuel and auto smell stuff. Oh, that's actually really cool. Okay. Yeah, I remember him explaining it to me. I, I just don't understand contraptions like at all. <clears throat> okay. Let's head back up top. Uh, let's head up Adam's place real quick. Now, if I was Adam, I'm pretty sure my base would be over here. Yes, Adam built a little bit more secluded from everyone, but not too secluded. 
This is his thing. His base was the one that got griefed the most by Madge underscore Moose, the infamous griefer. Luckily, I forget his name. Barry, Gary, Harry, his name was something like that, alright? Barry's the skull. I thought Gary was my horse, but now I feel like this guy's Gary. Alright? Dude, he didn't even stop the griefer, though. He's kind of useless. This is Adam's place, you know? He was going to build a railroad over to Crazy Cabin Kyle's place. <clears throat> that railroad leads down. It's like a mel- oh, I get it. It's like a- it's like a melon person. This is Adam's lighthouse- uh, lighthouse home, ladies and gentlemen. Get it. It's pretty nice. Let's go to the second floor real quick. Take a stop over here. Second floor, you can see it's pretty nice. His glass got broken there. Because he got griefed. Since we're over here and I forgot this was here, let's head over to Crazy Cabin. A.K.A. Kyle. A.K.A. Ron Jeremy. That's his name on Discord, by the way. Anyway. Let's go up. And we will see his base. He didn't really do much here, but it was still here and it was still cool. He has foxes, like a family up here, which was really awesome. And I appreciated it. So that's that. Um, Katie, can you tech check the minecart under Adams and tell me where it leads? Thank you. Let's head back to the highway. Still recording everything. Still looking fine. Awesome. 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 Crazy Cabin Kyle. Done. We're about to do Mason. We did Jordan's Mineshaft. Um, buh, 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 buh. Adam's lighthouse is done. All right, I think we're good. <clears throat> the minecart connects to Cole's ravine. Okay, dope. Okay, I, I, I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, now back to what we were doing over here, riding the thing to the immigration center. Oh no, there's a skeleton. I forgot this was a problem. Cole's base also has a secret entrance. Okay, can you sit by it and I will go there in a second. Like just literally can you sit by it and I'll teleport to you? That sounds pretty good to me. Welcome to the immigration center. Three diamonds for a green card. Trump Wendy immigration services. Mandatory holding period. Illegal immigration will result in prosecution. Hey, well, it's a good thing they were never on the server because so many people illegally entered this place. It was crazy. To Vice President Trump from Katy, you know, I gotta get the carpet. You're in position, thank you. You're gonna sit there for a while, okay? This is the Washington Monument, folks. Um, I thought it was a full moon tonight. Questioning life now. Anyway, Washington Monument, you know, got the pool and everything. Nice, the wall to keep the immigrants out. Trumplandia, folks. Built by Caleb. This is uh, Tim's project. He was going to make an armor stand with every color variant. Did not happen, though. You know, kind of got bored. It sounds kind of boring, I'm not going to lie. Trumplandia. Run by President... Shmuel Shower, aka Caleb. Let's head over to Mason's base. Mason came on the server a little late. I had stopped playing by then, but Mason, he had just started, baby. Look at this. Look at this base. Look at the line. 112. Skip the 113. 112, baby. Here's the 112. Mason's base, folks. Mason's banner, his stuff, his room. He's got like a, a target practice on here, like the, the man has everything folks. Sushi bar. Look at this. He's got a nice little like, sewer pipe entrance here, like tell me this doesn't remind you of Skyrim when you're, you're going in the sewer, or Oblivion when you're going in the sewers. Absolute architectural genius. Here we have the doghouse. 
I don't actually know if it's a dog house, but that's what we're gonna call it. We got the, the chicken farm, you know, but chickens, you know, they can go up, they can go down, they can go in the hole. They're free to roam. Free range chickens that are fenced in. That's what I like to see. Ladies and gentlemen, Mason's base. Don't even forget about pumpkin pie land. Don't enter. Those who enter are super gay. Oh no. Little do they know. I'm not super gay. I'm very straight. All right. Uh, here, let's head over here. Nice little pathway thing here. Where does this, I, I, I'll follow that in a second. This over here, let's, let's give him credit, whoever it is. Ameri Americadabra, right next to Trumplandia, perfect spot to build his base. Cobblestone, that is not cobblestone, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, this man has betrayed your trust. America, America, America. I don't know how to say his name. All right, Amer I said it earlier, fine, but now we're starting. I believe you're at John five. This is the fifth John space. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, fifth John. Yeah, I think I think it is his base based on the map. We had five Johns. He's he also is John L. Oh my goodness, that is so confusing. He has a nice little tower here, as you can see. Great, cozy, comfortable spiral staircase going up the middle, like every good. Light, it's kind of dark in here. Kind of got scared for a second. Was about to pee my pants. I was so scared. And I've been drinking a lot of water. The Tower of John 5. I want to follow this path real quick. You're still in position, right, Katie? <clears throat> okay, cool. Oh, this just leads over to, uh, because th that's, that's John Henry's base. Where does this go? Let's find out. Oh my gosh, we're going in the forest. We're following the torches. Here we go. Here we go. Yep, up, over, around, through, across. It's still going. This goes forever. I actually want to know where this leads. Mason's mob farm. Well, we're going to go check. Wait. The torches stop. I, it's an abandoned mine shaft. There's a cross. Um, dang it! How am I supposed to find it? The torch is stuck. Well, guys, oh, I found it. It's cause that's it's in view. I just need to go a little farther. I need to believe in myself. Giant platform built by the man himself, Trotpar, aka Masun. Built 555.78 hours ago. <clears throat> Let's head on down. Take as much string as you want. Here is the mob farm, folks. I'm assuming it was for spiders, because, I mean, it looks like it's built in spiders. Yeah. Yep. All right, let's go top. Where am I at? All right. Yeah, we'll we'll just head. We're we're just gonna teleport to Katie. Teleport to Katie. There's a secret entrance. Katie, I'm stuck in bamboo. You need to move. No, I got it. I got it. Climb down the waterfall. Climb the waterfall all the way to the top. Oh, okay. I climb the waterfall. Swim through the one block hole. Oh, okay, I see. This one block hole. Wrong one? Wrong what? Waterfall? The taller one? Oh, that one. Okay. Oh, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate this. This is the part of the aquatic up I don't like. You, you have to get it right to sprint. No, I didn't get it still. 
Oh, here. That's really neat. Ladies and gentlemen, Cole's secret entrance, aka Plot Phone One, aka the the Penguin Mafia guy. Use it to avoid. That's smart. Two hundred IQ. All right. So we got Cole. Who is Ariel? Who is who is Ariel? Who is that? I need to go there, base. Sabres Village. Big pole with water. <clears throat> Let's go to uh. What what next? Let's take the train to to uh, what's his face? The big guy, Berlin, the man. Let's go to him. Cold Swamp Cave, done. Sabres Village. Do I have Sabres Village in here twice, or am I crazy? I'm actually crazy. Oh, let's go to Gavin. Let's just teleport there. So that's TP negative 606. No, 642, 70, 600. Nope. I messed up. Negative 600. Boom. Wait. When was the last time he was on? Oh, okay. He, he, he just made banners. I, I didn't even know he had a banner. Wow. Look at this. Gavin's basically jumping. He, he's just nestled in the woods, kind of by Trumplandia. He's got a nice little, like, pathway here. Interesting, Katie. Right next to Trumplandia. Alright, Gavin's done. Now we, now we might just end up going through the list here. Let's go back home, go top, and we're going to take that big minecart system and talk a little bit about the next server and a few other miscellaneous things. All right, so Verlin had a base, had a few ba had like a few bases as you can see. He played a lot on the server. One of the things he had was his main base next to Jay and Sergio. Jay being Zombie King Jay. To Berlin and Cole. Here we go. Let me grab a minecart, put it on the track. Cole and Berlin, come on. Get in there, guy. Come on. Come on. Come on, guy. Hey, look at that. I'm a pro. Let's head over. So, the next server that we are thinking of doing, we switched it up a little bit, went with vanilla with just the MCMMO plugin to keep it a little spicy, but we are going back to modded next time. Um, we are thinking Resonant Rise. Once again, if you want to join the Minecraft adventures, be one of the 50 people, just like one of the 50 people that were on this server, Email me, corby7 at gmail.com, or message me on any social media, Discord, Steam, whatever you may want. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. I'm gonna I'm gonna just move this minecart over. Whatever you may want. What does that sign say? Welcome to Creeper Cavern. It's spooky, I know, it is spooky. And I will try and get you there. I'll keep you updated. We are still not a hundred percent on what server please come back okay cool. that was scary hundred percent on which server that we're gonna do but we're gonna do one of them for sure so they built this giant railroad track from katie skyscraper to berlin's base and by the way berlin's base is at negative 355 1400 did i just stop oh, okay good 1420 so we have to wait until that Z value gets to 1420, which is gonna be a while. So, this server, honestly, I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I was going to. I was vanilla, it's like, I'm just gonna get bored, I'm gonna do whatever. But I was very happy. I was actually very happy with vanilla. I didn't think I would enjoy vanilla this much. I it felt like it lacked the content that modded has and the options to do things, but it made it more simpler, more enjoyable, and more fun. And it was awesome. Actually, really fun. 
you know, I had always uh, joked around with a few people saying like, oh, like, uh, you have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. What are the odds of that happening? Okay, let, let, let's just grab another mine card. You can TP me? No, no, we're taking the mine card. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, it, it, that's fine. Okay, we're taking the mine card. We're taking the way that was meant to be taken. Minecraft Vanilla. Way more enjoyable than I thought. And I'm proud to say that. Having a break from modded was awesome. How long did this server? This server lasted a long time as well. I think it lasted... Katie, do you have a number on how long it lasted? Any clue? Can we get an exact... Can you figure out the exact number while I'm headed to Berlin Space? Alright. Thanks, Katie, for your help, by the way. Ladies and gentlemen, my sister, KT Cats 7 That's her real name. Anyway. We have arrived. Let's not cheat. Let, let's just go up. We took the might we took the railroad. We're gonna we're gonna halfway cheat. We're just gonna fly up. Because ladder ladder I'm not a big fan. So this is Berlin's base. He had a little mini marketplace of his own that looks pretty neat. All the different colors. Not all of them, but you know, different colors. Big animal farms. So when I say big, I mean he literally just jammed them. The pixels are glitching. Look at this horse. Look at this thing. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Chicken. Chicken. Egg. Egg. Feather. Feather. Chicken. Boom. Sawmill. Saw what I did there? No, you didn't because it would have sucked. Don't go barking up the wrong tree. Bark. Life is a birch sometimes, but not as much as life being a beach. This was a little storage system he had set up. It's a nice little tree farm he's got going. Enchanting table. This is his house, which I myself interior decorated. I tried to get his banners on the floor here with a sea, lan sea cucumber lantern for lighting and a singular lantern because that corner got a little dark. Berlin's base. Over here, nice little pathway, we have Jay's base. Jay had a really nice base. Pretty simple, but pretty dope. Jay's base, aka Zombies King, aka the Rocket League Master. Let's head on over. Another more of Ber more of Berlin's things. I just want to make sure that this is actually Berlin's. Yes, it is. Okay. Servers are July 11th, and we're in September 14th. Wow. So this one lasted. What is that? Two months. That's surprising. I'm honestly shocked. <laughs> Because, like, compared to, like, modded servers, you know, modded servers have so much more content. I, I, I honestly expected. Okay. That was Jay's. Jay's, Berlin's, Sergio's. I'm looking for Sergio's base. Ooh, what is here? Looks like a house that was never finished. Or maybe it was just aesthetic. I believe this is Sergio's, actually. Yes, this is Sergio's. Okay, besides the random landmark Sergio built, he actually built all of this stuff over here. Which is pretty nice. He's got a farm. Look at the, the waterfall aesthetic that he has in every part of his base. Which I think is really neat. Keeping like that central theme of the waterfalls made his base look pretty cool. This is his banner. Just a black gear with yellow background, but still cool. This 
Sergio's base, everybody. I I think this is he used Berlin's st base's storage, so I think I don't really think he has like any chests or anything. I think this is pretty much it. He was building a pathway here. I don't know what to, but he was building it. Here's uh, one of the villages by their base, and that's that. So, let's see here. I think I'm just going to start teleporting now, because now we're kind of getting into that territory where it's like, everything is really far. <clears throat> Zombies King is done. Berlin is done. Sergio, again, is done. Um, let's go to Mickey's base. We don't actually even need to teleport for that one. Well, we need to teleport back home, but for this one, we can just head over to her base. Mickey joined the server kind of late. Mickey, for those of you who don't know, is the man, the myth, the legend himself, Just Ice. Just Is. Has an Overwatch League team named after him. Pretty cool. Is Justice's fiance. Welcome to Mickey's. You can see we have, they have the Japanese flag. You have an incredible butt, just so you know. Hey, you're pretty great. Here are some Minecraft hours. P.S. I love you. Justice, if this isn't goals, I don't know what it is. Refused to get on the Minecraft server. Then his fiance gets on. And he comes over here, devotes his whole time on the server just to make her a shrine with flowers. And that's adorable. I actually thought this was Mickey's base, but now I'm kind of questioning if this is actually like her base base. Um, Katie, Katie, where, where's Mickey's base base? Can you help? Because I, I actually don't know if it's the cords in there. It, it, was that it? Is that all, is that all she had? The, uh, uh, you don't think she made a base? Okay, it's just that thing over there. It's just like the little the little thing. Alright, dope. Mickey, if I missed any part of your base, I am very sorry. Very, very sorry. Let's head up over to Mr. McMuffin. Another Kyle, just like crazy cabin. He built a ways away, but his house is really dope. Let me give you a gander at it. I'm a race car. Big pole. Another big pole. We'll go to big pole with water in a second. Here's Kyle's base. Coming from this view, I, I kind of already spoke. Coming from this view is like a house suspended on a cliff. And it looked really amazing. I, I, I like the aesthetic of it. I like the look. I like the, the, the dab. The Fortnite dance the swag that this base has. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen. Mr. McMuffin's base. I had a very hard time trying to figure out how to get up here. Even though you saw me just like go through that little entrance, for some reason I was expecting a door and I was really tired and I, I didn't see a door so I'm like oh there's no way I can get up there. But yeah, Kyle's base. <clears throat> what else do we got here? Okay, Kyle's done. Mickey's done. Let's head over to a Big Pole with Water. Because Big Pole with Water, it's a time to be alive. Let me tell you. I do have Saber's Village on here twice. I am going crazy. Okay, yeah. Let's get rid of one of them. All right, big pull with water, negative 284, 1500. Let's check, whoa, I am, okay, let's try like this. Okay, let's try like, oh, I, I typed 50, I'm, I'm so silly. Let's just go like this, there we go. Big pull with water, built by, Uh, Berlin he wanted to build this big pool with water one of his most ambitious projects on the server um, big pool 
with water built by Berlin. Boom. By his base. So it, it makes sense. I'm surprised I didn't see it. How do I miss big pool of water, dude? What? No, he. This was one of his. Mo no. Katie. Don't try and add function to something that doesn't need function. This is. No, 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 no. Don't try and don't try and give this a thing. All right, this was, this was, one of his best buildings. Okay. Big pole with water built by Berlin. All right. Big pole. Big pole is done. Going down the list. Lucid. Lucid John's base. Zero, seven hundred ninety-five. Don't know why I'm typing that. All right. Boom. Okay, I actually do need the Y coordinate, <laughs> is what we've learned. Um, 65. Uh, uh, okay, ladies and gentlemen, Lucid John's base. Oh, one of these. Oh, we have a lot of these. Okay. Wow, we live in a society. Wow, you have to crouch to get under that one. Like, you, you could not be a noob to get into this space. You had to have the game knowledge. Oh, like he was he was not messing around. I, he should have built in the PvP world with this. Whoa. Lucid John's base, folks. Uh, I believe Berlin's base is by here. Let's go check it out. Um, Berlin's secondary base. Neg no, it's not near here, but we'll go to it anyway. Um, no, no, it is by here. It is. Just have to make the X value more negative. X value more negative. We will go to Berlin's kind of secondary base. I think he was going to build there originally. I, I never asked him about it. Berlin's secondary base, folks. Got a little door here. Head on inside. You can see that the interior is really nice, actually. I mean, look at this. This place is beautiful. It's even got a second floor. Oh my goodness! Look at this. He's got a down thing. Oh my gosh! This is. I would get lost in here, but I am lost in here. Please send help. I will not be able to finish the server tour because I am lost. Save the game. Thank you, server, for saving the game. Got a painting, nothing behind it, kind of sad. I always am, am expecting like trap doors or something. Ruined space, folks. Inside a hollow cave-esque thing, which is actually really dope. So yes, this is Berlin's, to clarify, this is Berlin's second base that he built next to a village. Because He's just that cool that he has two bases. All right, we have officially checked off Berlin. Let's go to Sean's base. Negative a thousand eight hundred sixty-eight. Let's go to it, folks. Welcome to Sean's base. Now, when I said make the market stall look like your your base, you can see that Sean's random wool thing in his marketplace, it wasn't too far from accurate. I mean, look at this. You got this right here. You can see that when you go down the vines, you're going into this, this, this guy. And then this is his mob farm up here that he made. Head on, head on into it. A nice mob farm here. <clears throat> Sean's base, folks. Got another portal. And uh, actually, I think I want to say, uh, yeah, he's got his, his banner over here. His banner, another cool one. Oh my gosh, I'm out of water. We're gonna power through. We're gonna finish the server tour. Uh, Katie, start thinking of things that uh, I have not gotten on that aren't on the list. Acrobatics farm. Someone made an acrobatics farm. I don't remember who it was. We're about to find out. 
TP, negative 75, 64. Nick made it? Okay. 576. Well, I, 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 I said I was going to find out, but okay. Yep, Nick, but folks, acrobatics. For those of you who have never used MCMMO, you gain levels in acrobatics by taking fall damage. So, built this thing that had a four drop each time, and you would just walk forward and keep dying. But you would level up acrobatics, and that's what mattered. Nick's farm, ladies and gentlemen. Acrobatics farm. <clears throat> Acrobatics farm is done. Let's head over to my boy Colin's base. Now, you may remember from the, the museum, the art gallery, my bad, that Colin's base I gotta stop doing that. Colin actually burned down his house. Here's his bad religion flag. I believe that's like a band or something that Colin really likes. You know, uh, Colin burned down his house. He used to be made out of wood. Then he made house two. House one was uh, lost in a fire that I set. And that's how that went. We all gathered around and watched this fire burn. There's house burn, I mean. It was actually pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie, folks. Uh, I don't, I'm very much so questioning his, his chest organization here. Cause like, this is definitely not all mob drops and like, this is not wood. This, this is wood. <clears throat> Colin planted a jungle. Okay, I will check that out. Mine shaft down here with a basement. Colin's house, folks. I, I gotta, I gotta check upstairs. Come on. Upstairs. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Upstairs. Here we go. Here we go. Upstairs. Upstairs. Here we go. All the way upstairs. Boom. It's like got a kind of castle with the thingies that I always forget what they're called. But yeah, as you can see, Colin actually planted a ton of jungle things right by his house. So, makeshift jungle. Here. Now, we are almost two hours into the server tour, and I still have a little bit more to go. If you've watched this far so far, thank you. And I hope you're enjoying the video, and I'm trying to make it as entertaining as possible. We're almost done. Colin's base, folks. Katie, anything else I might have missed? Ah, oh, now we need to head over to Cock and Odges. Nick's dog's names, can you go buy those? Because I actually didn't see them. I feel like I was looking in the wrong spot. Now, Matt Greetens, the man himself. I live in the same city as him now. He's a great guy. Did the number one I definitely did the number one sign, but okay. My bad. Yeah, see, we're getting to that point. We're getting so late in the server tour video. We don't even know uh, what's what anymore. Um, let's go to Matt's face. Matt Greetings. Great guy. What a, what a man. Very happy that he played on the server. He almost never played when I was on the server, which kind of sucked, but it's all good. Let's go to his bit. Oh, hello? Oh, he, I was about to say, like, whoa, like, this is not his base. Whoa, that is sick. Uh, he's got, like, a tunnel that goes down here. Like, I build his house right next to a hole. Matt's nice little base he's got here. I don't think he played a ton, but he played a, a decent bit to... Make a cool walkway. Made entirely out of wood, dirt, and wood. And wood, and wood. Um, glass. Yeah. Cows, farm. Built in the spruce biome. Kind of secluded from everyone else. Oh, this is really nice. What the, what the heck are they doing? Okay. There's nothing like weird below this, I'm pretty sure. Uh, okay. Matt. Matt Greeton's base, aka Coconage, Coconage, however you say it. Let's head over to Saber's Village. One of the people we played with, Saber, she actually decided to make her base in a village and kind of like uh, build a wall around it. I 
Keeper game with Cords Reveal's bases. There's actually so much stuff this time, it's so hard to keep track of. So you can see she built a little tiny wall. She didn't play a whole lot, but she built a little tiny wall around the uh, the base. The village, I mean. Base village, same thing. I think most of the villagers are dead. There is still a cat. Which kind of sucks. But this is Saber's base that she made. And uh, kind of funny thing. If it's still over. Yeah, kind of funny thing. It looks like she uh, actually used me and Nick's banner as uh, her banner for her farm. So basically this is my property. Uh, is what I got of it. Like this, me and Nick actually own Saber's, bla Saber's place. Turtle breeding place over there. Pathway she built. Pathway she built right here. But yeah, this is uh, me and Nick and Saber's village. That Saber put a wall around and Minecraft generated. We live in a society, never forget. Uh, Saber's village is done. We only got we have two two bases left. Now, I'm gonna be honest, Katie, is Ariel or Ariel a guy or a girl? Boy, thank you. I don't wanna assume. Because assuming, you know what they say about assuming. It makes giraffes. And giraffes are actually going extinct, so we should always assume. John John number one's friend. Is is your your John is John number one because he's your boyfriend? Yeah, okay. You got a boyfriend. I bet he doesn't kiss ya. Okay, TP negative one thousand eighty nine. Uh, let's just do like a hundred. Then negative six fifty five. Welcome to Ariel Ariel. However you say it. what the heck? It's actually huge. This man was not messing around. Cobblestone factory. I wouldn't really call this a factory, it's just two chests, but like, whatever floats your boat, my man. He's got a nether portal, he's got a wide boy nether portal to top it off. I've never been here, bro. Alright. Wow, he is flat land and everything. Next to the, the big taiga biome. He's got, uh, the, here's the actual, like, redstone thing. I'm assuming, like, you, you have, like, lava or whatever, and then you, like, hit a block. You hit the button. I see. Okay. <clears throat> Wheat for cows. Cow press. <laughs> Paper and book factory. Wow, this guy, he, he was, he's a, he was not messing around. My man, John number one's friend, Ariel, 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 the mermaid, dude. This is sick, bro. I really, I'm really happy I went and checked out your base. I already did the little smiley face, don't even worry about it. Um, yep. Alright, just sit next to Nick's dogs, we'll conclude there. Uh, yeah. Ariel's base, wow. He is, he is not messing around. What a guy. Ariel, 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 base. Did I miss it? I feel like that this house seems so massive. I Neutron place. This is a big house, dude. You you were not you're not messing around with this one. I feel like I'm, I'm gonna miss something of yours, but we're at two hours. We gotta get going. What does the sign say? Spider farm. Oh my, he's got a spider farm too. I really want to check it out. This is just slightly faster, I feel like. Oh my gosh, that's all, that is scary. Oh, wow. This, this guy's base is getting scarier and scarier. Spider farm, all right. The links I will go to include as much as I can in the server tour. Oh, 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 here's this. Here's a spider farm, folks. Two spider farms, wow. All right. Let's look at his base a little bit more. Ariel, Ariel's base. Now we just have logger. Negative 1350, negative 100. Here we go. 
Welcome to Puppet Famine Space. John Logger. Also has an Elytra. Welcome to the year 2049. It's gone south since 2019. The creeper, creepers control the westerlands. The, there are withers wandering the east. The drowned, you cannot escape the sea. But the miners have hope. There's news from the capital. It's server tour, they say. Oh, what fun that will be. I can't wait for the joy. It's been a long 30 years. All right, listen. I, I know the server tour has taken me some time, but I am doing it now. I am doing it now. And I'm, I'm even doing it when I'm not feeling the best. My throat kind of hurts, all right? I'm manning up. We're getting it done. As you can see, he has a wall. This really reminds me of, uh, whatchamacallit, Game of Thrones, where all the undead were, like, chilling outside. Uh, when Jon Snow is north of the wall, you know, all the undead, the zombies were chilling up outside of the wall. And then they just all kind of flood over and overwhelm the wildlings and Jon Snow. <clears throat> so this is Logger's base. Pretty small. But you know, it's it's Logger. He's a cool guy. He's got a nice little storyline. Since a lot of people are trying to get number one spots. Yes, I will do that. Okay, wait. well first let me go down here. I don't know the actual entrance. I'm gonna break the glass because I always get confused. Logger's base again. He's got villagers and boats. Boats and goats and totes. Oh, here we go. Bubble Vaders. I really hope Jordan's laugh gets in because that was actually pretty funny. This is really ass. I love the underground, like the nature underground area thing. If someone, someone next server, I'm calling out. Someone do it, because because I didn't do it. Mine was like okay. Someone do it, massive scale, underground, nature area, big boom. Logger's base, folks. Probably missing something. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Alright, I think we're almost done. These are Nick's dogs. Oh, he's got a lot. Torb. Shrek. Nick's a Torb. Shrek. Mountain Dew. Skippy. Jif. Nice. All but three are named. I see that. Those are the names of Nick's dogs, folks. I think we are finally ready to conclude the server too. I actually don't even think I talked about Shrek really, but this is Shrek. Oh, my candy. This server, my expectations going into it. They weren't that good. I, I didn't think I would like vanilla. But oh boy. Am I glad that I played. It was really fun. And it's been great. Let's look at those MC top rankings for each skill. Alchemy. Number one is Nick. Acrobatics. Number one is Colin. Archery, number one is also not Colin. Nick passed him, that's kind of sad. Axes, axes being the fighting skill. Katie. Oops. Excavation, Nick. Wait, this is. Oh, I, I did it wrong. That's what happened. Oh. Yeah, let, let's look at the MC top for wood cutting real quick, actually, because Katie, you're not the number one wood cutter. I'm the number one wood cutter. That's right. I passed you when you weren't even looking. A thousand, baby. Lies and slander. The numbers don't lie. I'm at the top. Let's go. Okay. Uh, fishing. Nick is at the top. John. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna go through this real quick. Herbalism. 
Mining. That's what you think, Katie. Just skill. You're just jealous that you're not as skilled as me, okay? <clears throat> oh, rip. Uh, Katie, uh, I'm missing a few skills. Smelting. That's not a valid skill name. Dang. Smelting. I don't, I don't think it's yet. Swords, though. Swords is a big one. Taming. Unarmed. W. X. Y. Z. Alright, I think that's it. The server's been an adventure. From top to bottom to finish. Thank you all for watching Corbin's scuffed Minecraft server tour of Nick's server. I hope you all enjoyed. And I hope to see you on the next server. Thank you everybody. Thank you very much. <laughs>